Hello YouTube, my name is Witty Butter, or Ian, depending on how you want to refer to me in general. Moving swiftly on, um, might as well instantly talk about the team. Uh, a lot of you were wondering about Elysia, or Alicia, whatever we want to pronounce it. It's our choice, it's our bloody Pokemon, our slave. That's right, Alicia, that's right. Anyways, um, I have been doing a small amount of training. And I've ultimately decided that whilst it has terrible stats, being a Pichu, and it basically can't fight at all, it will be used as a sort of secret weapon to be used as a final a final tactic. See, when we get the experience share, I'm going to give it to Elysia for the whole time, and it's going to level up so much that it'll be unstoppable. It will be a god among Pokemon. Yes, y you follow, right? <laughs> I don't sound insane. Good. I, I probably do. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and avoid it, avoid making it fight too much for now, and we're just going to let it get stronger and stronger until it just it overcomes every obstacle in its way. In the meantime, let's say hello to this dude who wants to reward us for being good. It were Devon good. You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As why do you say I know? You said it in the first place, of course you know. Yeah. As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Great. Fantastic. You spoil me. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Come, come with me. Yeah. Devon Corporation's third floor. Uh, no, I don't actually remember where we get the experience share from. I do know that we get it from this guy, but I can't remember when or how. I know we need to give some sort of item or find some sort of item. I, I don't know when. Uh, alright. I do like this music though. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Mr. Stone, President, got word about you. You saved your staff twice. Then, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, I think if we can get back. Alright, we deliver the letter. And then we just come back. And he'll just give us experience share. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. We don't. Oh, you're healing me. Thank you. I guess. Did you just heal me? Yeah, you just healed me. Nice. Thank you. Um. Yeah. <laughs> about the humans entropy two as well. I was going to talk about it in this uh, in this video. Well, I was going to talk about it in yesterday's amnesia video, but uh, because a lot of you guys <laughs> really don't want to hear it, I'm not going to talk about it in the Pokemon video. But because the amnesia guys, because I have fairly separate audiences for my different videos because the amnesia guys are quite interested in it I'm probably going to talk about it there so if you're curious uh, check in for the next time I upload amnesia because that's when I'll be discussing it God help our souls uh, but yeah I'm doing you guys a favour you, you don't want to hear about it honest um, yeah. oh and um, on my twitter yesterday completely irrelevant to the human centipede but sort of bug-ish on my twitter I posted uh, uh, I tweeted that I just tw I spent 20 minutes strategically killing a giant spider. That's right, I'm a murderer. Yeah, I'm a crazed killer. Oh, I'll talk about that in a second then. Uh, turned out great. Pokemon president gave. What are you doing? Oh no, not match call. If I run into youngster Joey, I'm gonna slap him. Yeah. But my but my Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. You shut your mouth. My Pichu's in the top percentage of Pichu. Uh, <laughs> right, this is what you want me to do. There you go. Mr. Stone, oh, butter! Since you call me, the Pokemon must be working properly. Oh, other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good, you seem to be quite happy. I'm being sarcastic. Hmm? You laugh like a fool. <laughs> it's almost as bad as yes, 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 yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. Although, another Twittery thing, uh, my friend twi um, linked me to another Twitter page because I was showing her different memes and I showed her the uh, video, the JB fan video, which was where the overly attached girlfriend originated from. And uh, she quite enjoyed that and she found a, sp a Twitter page in Spanish that, uh, I don't know about you, in Spanish, and uh, the, 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 it was on the theme of uh, overly attached girlfriend. And the top tweet, I Google translated it because I was curious. It just said um, something, something, something. I can't remember. And then it just went, yeah, 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 necrophilia. 
And <laughs> I found that I found that very funny. Uh, yes, 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 necrophilia. It seemed so jolly, and then just instantly went on the damper of necrophilia. Uh, anyway, <laughs> about the spider thing. Yeah, I killed a spider. Yeah, I'm badass. But this thing, this this spider was huge. It wasn't on my witty butter Twitter, by the way. I do have one, but I never use it. Uh, yeah, on my actual Twitter. Yeah. And this thing was, it was big. It was like unnaturally large for a spider in England. And it was just staring me down, you know? The worst part was, I could see its little fangy things. And that, that is when the spider's too big, in my opinion. That's when something needs to be done about it. So, so I did, you know? I was looking at this spider, and this was the kind of spider that would get a mobile home and just sit on a rocking chair in front of it, brandishing a shotgun and just staring down any outsiders. You know, like, like the kind of spider that just goes, Oi, what are you looking at? Yeah, I could bite you. I could bite you. I don't know why I just gave a, a Southern American stereotype and given it, like, a chav voice. <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. Oi, hey, I'm going to shoot you in it, bruv. But, no, that... <laughs> well, I suppose it was an English spider, so that's much more accurate. Uh, I don't know what it just... I don't know what it's about to send out. Um, I mean, we'll stick with bear for a second, just to make... Just to be safe. Tree... Torchic. Torchic, damn it. Um, are we safe? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll use a potion. I can buy potions this episode, yay. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, the spider, staring me down. So I was like, hmm... How can we deal with this? Because I don't want to go to sleep with that thing in the house. No, I'm not scared of spiders, but that thing, that was, that was not a spider, that was, that, that was a monster. It was a beast. There we go. Paralyzed kid, that's what I wanted. Mm, that hurt, okay. Uh, does Super have any? Uh, no. Uh, eh, eh, eh. And so, I got um I got a uh, I got a uh, coat hanger one of those steel ones I unbent it and I just started prodding at it a bit you know just just to see what it would do just see what it would do you know test its its resolve I didn't stab it I was just prodding at its legs you know because that's where the sensory hairs are I did research afterwards gotta know your enemy and um and it was it jumped it it fucking jumped at the opposite wall you know it was. It was unnatural, okay? It didn't reach the opposite wall, <laughs> admittedly. It sort of landed on my shower curtain. But that still, it, it jumped. We have jumping spiders here. That was not one of them. That was some sort of orb spider thing. Don't know why it wasn't making an orb web thing, but it was jumping and that freaked me out. That, that was when it was way too far. I mean, I could have let it slide. I could have had a nice little chat with that spider, you know, Try to speak in its language. Oi, bruv, what are you doing in my own minute, late? Like? Good. Right? You're gonna leave, mate. And it would have left. Because I, I was being polite. But no. No. See, now it was being threatening. Now, now the game was on. That's what I did. What I, what I did is uh, I, uh, I set up a little, like, cage out of shampoo bottles. Uh, it didn't have a roof, which, in retrospect... It's a spider. Probably should have had a roof, but it it worked. So I made a little uh, little three walls <laughs> out of shampoo bottles on the side, and I I wadded up a bit of uh, a bit of toilet paper. I shoved it onto the end of the coat hanger, so it, I've I've got more of a a prodding platform for that. And I sort of I, I eased it, and it was jumping. It was jumping along that that, that uh, shower curtain. It wasn't walking. It was bloody jumping. Okay. That was, so yeah, it, <laughs> jumping along, after a while, it was a bit reluctant, it got into the three walls, it started climbing the edge, but then, then I pulled out my master plan of, uh, <laughs> of a piece of string that I had tied to the, um, to the, uh, the, the necks of the shower bottles. All of them, just, it was quite loose. And it was climbing on the edge of it, and then I just pulled, you know? And it fell into the bath. Then it was in my territory. Then it was a whole different game, guys. You know? Because then, all it was, was a simple matter of flooding the bitch. You know? <laughs> but of course, because it was like, it was quite late at night. It was just like one in the morning. 
I, c I couldn't turn the taps on because that would wake people up. So instead, I uh, I put the uh, the sink tap, which is next to the bath, on pretty low, so it wasn't making much noise. I just filled up one of the shampoo bottles, which was the instrument of its destruction, really. So I quite enjoyed the irony there. Oh, it wasn't really ironic. It was just it was just poetic. There we go. It was poetic. So I filled up the shampoo bottle that ended it that basically led to its destruction, and then I just I sort of poured it around the edges, you know, as it was trying to run around. And I thought this bugger, this bugger could escape the bath. You know, no, most spiders couldn't. This thing, this thing seemed capable. This thing seemed capable of climbing Everest if it wanted to. You know, it's the kind of thing that could take down a cow if it just, if it was in the right mindset. You know, if it was a bit, bit drunk one night and a bit angry, it could just go into a farm and bite the head off a cow. You know, so yeah, I was pouring water on it. <laughs> And eventually it was gone. Well, not gone. It ended up in the plug hole, still sort of moving a bit. And that—that's—that's that's when I just sort of loosely put the plug on it, and just uh, just hoped it would crawl down the drain and die. Um, it's probably too big to get down the drain, but you know, at, at least it's it's out of my sight uh, forever. Um, <laughs> hello, Mr. Briney. <laughs> well. If it's it, well, look, if it's not a human centipede I'm talking about, it's straight up murder, you know. It's <laughs> oh god, right? I I laid a busy life. Come on, come on, Brady. <laughs> oh, okay. I should probably do a bit of grinding in Duford. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, this is new. I don't think you get a pokey caller in Ruby or Sapphire, so. How oh, about uh, I don't understand why the boat stopped. Why is me getting a phone call made everything stop? It's it's not like I'm the I'm driving the boat. Uh where are you? Sounds windy, wherever you are. Right? I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about your Pokemon, so I decided to give you a call. Wait, Mr. Stone is giving out my number to people. That's a bit rude. I mean if he's gonna give out my number, at least talk ask me. I mean I know you're my dad, but I don't exactly like you. You've never been there. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Was that it? Really? I... <sighs> that was... <sighs> oh. Did that old woman just appear? <laughs> okay. Ahoy! We've hit land in Juford. Why are you the pirate now? You're not meant to be the pirate. Okay. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Stephen. Is that it? Alright, okay. First things first. Oh wait, are we damaged? Yes, slightly. We're going to heal. Then we'll have a look around the houses, see if we can nab some free items. Then we'll hit the cave, do a bit of grinding. And, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that sounds like a plan. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that those people won't give me anything. I know that we can't hit the gym yet, because we need to do stuff. Um, yeah, I'm getting the itch to fish. Uh, funny you should say I've got an itch to fish. I actually have crabs. So, I literally have an itch. Not really to fish, but it's sort of relevant to fishing. It's a, it's a crustacean, which you can find in the sea. Hmm. I don't have crabs. <laughs> I just want to clarify that. I don't have a seven-year itch, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, that could lead to some horrible... Uh, horrible misunderstandings. Um, no, I want to clarify... I'm completely clean. <laughs> oh god, I'm just gonna get straight off of this subject. Um, although it's somewhat relevant, uh, and funny coincidence really, the I actually know off by heart the Latin cl classification for uh, the, uh, the the common hermit crab. Uh, I think um, <laughs> it might. I, I'm pretty sure it's Pagarus bernardus. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not the hit. Oh, hey. oh, you want me to tell you what's... Oh, God, Mike, okay. Uh, you may have heard some sort of clunk. My microphone is sort of falling down. Do give me a moment. Okay, okay, hopefully that's better. It, it, it doesn't appear to have killed itself. Let me just... Yeah, yeah, we seem fine. Um, let's see if we can pick up anything. Nice. I'm going through the list, seeing if there's anything. Um, seeing anything that inspires me, as do the others. Uh, alone. Eh, might be able to use alone. Agree after that accepts. Uh, oh! Add up. Wait, okay, this is a Pokemon game. I'm thinking, come on. Oh, this would be great. Come on. 
I believe in you, Pokemon. Do you have it? Do you, do you, do you have it? Come on. Do you, yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the trend lately, guys. That is the trend that is up and coming. Adult toys. <laughs> Brilliant. I am so mature. <laughs> huh. Adult toys? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I knew that. Knew it all along. Of course I know about that. Adult toys, right? Yeah, that's it. It's there, isn't adult toys the coolest or what? It should be aren't adult toys. Okay. It's the hippest thing in hip. <laughs> it's around the hip area. Uh, you'd think I'd not know about it. Mistake fashion? It's like so five minutes ago. Now, adult toys is what's vital and in tune with the times. Oh, brilliant. I've got to see what these guys say. What's in vogue? Why, it has to be adult toys. I can't imagine what life would be like without adult toys. Oh, this is just me going straight back to childhood and being horribly immature, but I'm loving it. I'm studying up on the hip and trendy adult toys now. <laughs> what does studying adult toys involve, sir? Oh, is it true there's a deep link between adult toys and porn? <laughs> yes, yes there is. Brilliant. Oh, so my hunch was right. Oh my god. I'm one step close to being hip and happening. <laughs> Yowza! Oh, this is... I'm teaching my Pokemon about adult toys. But it's not going so well. It's a bit too much. <laughs> well, for a Pokemon like Pichu, I imagine adult toys would be a bit difficult, yeah. Uh, across the sea, is adult toys even more popular? Yeah, um, I believe there's there's an isle called Anus Summerus. Where adult toys are like the massive thing. Uh, what you got? This whole business about adult toys. Isn't there a TV show on it? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, that reminds me though. When I finish in this house, I want to talk to you about TV shows and adult toys. That sounds horrible. It will be clarified in a second. I collect official adult toys. You were a bit young for that, aren't you? Licensed merchandise. I have official adult toys dolls. Mm -hmm. Official adult toys brand clothing. Oh, God. Lingerie. Or as I used to pronounce it, lingerie. You got some lingerie, mate. That's some lovely lingerie your missus is wearing. Lingerie, baby. The officially licensed adult toys picture books. Those aren't picture books, son. <laughs> I own. I'm not sharing anything with you. I don't expect you to. I don't want you to. It's probably very filthy. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, we should get together and organize an adult toys party. Oh, no. <laughs> On the island. Oh, a smashing good idea. It will settle once and for all who is the best at adult toys. <laughs> who is the best at adult toys? Leave your answers in the comments below. <laughs> please don't. Got that, <laughs> please. Starting today's our, starting today, our lives will revolve around adult. I'm taking way too much pleasure from this. Oh yeah, I've already, okay, fine. <laughs> oh God, today is a very, very immature day for me, but I'm enjoying it. Wonderful. What have you got? Have you got to talk about adult toys? Skirt. Oh, well. <laughs> well, she's just as nice. The sky is so beautiful. The sky is so beautiful today. Unlike you. You're a bit of a bitch. Well, that really brought down my high. Thank you. So anyway, yeah. Uh, somewhat relevant to adult toys and TV programs. I was watching a documentary on Fifty Shades of Grey the other day because my friend phoned me up and said, oh, you should check this out. My friend who actually read the book and actually enjoyed it, what is wrong with her? And so we watched it together, so, or on the phone, you know. And um, it was horribly biased. It was, oh, okay. All they were showing, li literally, was the positive reviews of it. Which obviously because they wanted to make themselves look, oh great, this book is great. Because if you buy the book, we get kind of proceeds from it, you know. We get paid. And so they were only showing the good the good aspect of it and the very few criticisms they did show up like the fact that they briefly touched upon the fact that ugh, it was incredibly disrespectful to people who actually who actually are part of the BDSM scene uh, they point they uh, touched on feminism briefly but they completely shaded over it and um, it was terrible it was so biased and Ugh, it sickened me. I was shouting at my TV screen. And then the one person, the main person that they got to show it was some bimboy, weird, attractive woman, sure. But she was 
the most bimbo-y and, I hate to say it, uh, Essex-y person. I say Essex as in the view that TV gives of Essex, like, the only way is Essex, like, the idiots. Because I know that there's a there's a quite a few smart people there. They have a university, I think. Um, <laughs> not sure. But, yeah, th that's the TV's perception of it. And she was the biggest bimbo, and she was just going, Oh, yeah, yeah, my girlfriend's read it, and they, they loved it. And then, yeah, I read it, and it was good. I read it in public. They loved it. People, people looked. They were all jealous. Shut up. Shut the hell up, woman. No. Oh, right, yeah, poison. Okay. Don't die, don't die. Don't die on me. Right, yeah. And in between all of the conversations, I don't know, in between all of the, um, all of the different people being interviewed about the book, there was this, there was two actors, I say actors, that who were just having sex. Who were trying to recreate scenes from Fifty Shades of Grey. And it was, it was basically soft porn. Sure, it, it was on at 10 o'clock, so it's legal and everything. But it was a bit... Because I think he was getting a bit too into it, and she was overacting a bit. So he was going like, oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously you couldn't hear him, but I mean, that's how he sounded in my head. And she was just all biting her lip and all like, ah, ah, nah. And really like playing it up. Because she's getting paid tons of stuff for this. He's probably just in it for the sex. The, the bastard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the sex scenes didn't bother me as much as they did my friend. Who is incredibly against porn. Which makes me wonder why she likes Fifty Shades. I, I, the world is oh, terrible, terrible, it's, it's confused, right, <laughs> anyway, um, on that chat, um, how are we doing on time, oh, I, I, I should probably call it, uh, up to wraps for a minute, um, well, let, let's beat this guy up, uh, oh, don't poison me again, Alicia can actually hold her own, you've got to admit, she's not as useless as, as people are thinking she will be, hopefully, uh, yeah, I don't want to evolve her. People have been saying to evolve her just once into Pikachu, but to be honest, Pikachu's gotten meh for me. He's just gotten fatter and and more annoying in the cartoon series, which I don't watch regularly. From what little I've seen, he's just gotten meh. And uh, yeah, he doesn't look the same as when he did when I was a, when I was a child. Back in my day, we had a cute little rat thing, mouse, whatever it is. But now we've got a plump little ball of squeak. So I, I prefer Pichu, who is uh, notably not crap. Seriously, is that woman just appearing? Wait, wait, wait. If I go off screen. Uh, pop. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. All right. Oh, wait, no. Uh, before we finish, this is a new place, isn't it? So in theory, we can catch a Pokemon here. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why the hell not? How are we doing on actual people? Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch to Bear because Bear has the paralyzing move. Right, let's, let's catch a Pokemon, guys. New Pokemon. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> old Rod this crap. Um, where's my Old Rod? There we go. Okay, now... Uh, not, no, no, we did get a nibble. Don't tell me that. Uh, I want to catch a re <laughs> Reggie Gigas in this thing. If only it was in this game. I do quite like Reggie Gigas as a Pokemon. Oh, oh. This could take a while. <sighs> I've only been fishing once, and it was the kind of fishing where you have to actually like, get in the water. I was little then, and I didn't know about bringing actual like fishing equipment so I ended up just taking my trousers off and just walking into the walking into a river with a fishing rod just in my boxes in retrospect that's terrible and weird and a bit worrying but eh I caught a fish that was a pretty good day had to release it instantly but still you know I enjoyed it <laughs> I don't even remember where that was now oh no I swear I put that Ah, oh, I swear I just did that. Ugh. Oh, there we go. All right, what, we, what have we caught? Uh, a Vulpix! Not bad. I can live with a Vulpix. We have a fire type now. We're getting quite a range of types, aren't we? I like this. Um, oh no, you haven't burnt me. You son of a bitch. 
Yeah, I'm gonna contain you in a ball now. Um, <laughs> you deserve this, you monster. There we go. Brilliant. Brilliant. What's your Pokedex? It can freely control fire, making fiery orbs fly like Will-o'-the-Wisps, which we need to teach it if it can learn it. Will-o'-Wisp. Brilliant move. Just before evolution, its six tails grow hot, as if on fire. Huh, now we need to name this thing. Oh, God. Uh, no, this one's fairly simple, actually. I think... Yeah, why not? It's a bit... It, it's probably very generic and been used tons of times, but if I remember correctly, Vixen does mean female fox, but also some, a, a seductress. And you know, you know, Vixen, this, 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 uh, this, um, this Vulpix is, is a bit of a saucy bitch, you know. She is a seductress. She's a siren in the, in the ocean. See, that's how we caught her. She wasn't just, she wasn't swimming, like, like a fox would, how you'd expect. She was actually sort of splayed out on a rock, singing beautiful tunes that lure sailors towards her. And she burns them. Yeah, even though they're on the ocean, they get burnt. It's, don't question it, right? <laughs> she's like, she's just, she's just there giving her siren song. <laughs> That's a siren song. <laughs> or maybe she, maybe it would be more like la 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 la. So yeah, so the uh, the sailors come towards her, all like, oh gosh, she's oh, beautiful. That's a beautiful noise. Then they see it's a Pokemon and think this feels a bit dirty. I, I really. I, I don't feel right doing this. And then, while they're caught in the confusion, she just spits fire at them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got an item for us as well. Nice. Uh, no, I just want to take it. What have you got? Raw berry. I don't even remember what that does. Uh, flash fire, not bad. Um, probably won't come into play. Uh, fairly, fairly good. What, um, what nature are you? Gentle. Ah, oh, gentle. See? Vixen. She is a seductress, a gentle seductress. Uh, Raw could be useful for escaping things. Um, for Ember will be the main thing. Okay, good, good. Got a new team member. Every episode, new team member, apparently. <laughs> oh, which um, which reminds me, before I leave you, I do want to ask, uh, if we get more Pokemon than we can hold in our party, like we put some in a box, in the box, what do you want me to do about those Pokemon that are in the box? Do they count as, uh, like, spare Pokemon? That I can use if one of ours dies, or if I don't, if all of the Pokémon in the current party die, God forbid, can I use Pokémon from the box to replace them, or is the game just over? Do let me know. And to save you the horrible boredom of me grinding everyone's levels up to a reasonable, uh, reasonable point, I will probably end it here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget to talk about adult trends, adult toys, of course. Uh, sheesh, adult toys—it's the hottest thing in cool. Wherever you're from, Adult Toys is the biggest thing right now. <laughs> uh, yes, yes it is. Absolutely right. Adult Toys is the definition of in. The definition of in. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. <laughs> that is brilliant and immature. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, this, uh, I have been away from school for too long. <laughs> Alright, thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget to let me know about the box thing, let me know what you think of Vixen, and anything else I've spoken about in this episode. Sorry for the slightly weird topics. <laughs> oh, God, okay. <laughs> for now, though, I will bid you a merry, adult toys-filled adieu.